Hello YouTube, welcome back to Chikwoto Trading Academy. Now, uh, in the spirit of our four-part series webinar, of course, I am putting on a Tick Mill t-shirt today, and that's the branded hat over there as well. So that's, um, I mean, I'm putting that on for this video. But this video is actually uh, dedicated to Emmanuel Obata, who asked a question in our previous video. Now, this goes a long way to tell you that if you leave a comment and probably ask us a very intelligent question, your question could lead to a YouTube video and we can make a YouTube video completely answering your question and, um, you know, giving you gl uh, great clarity, of course, in the market. All right. So Emmanuel Obata, um, this one is actually for you. So Emmanuel Obata asked a question. He said, how do you deal with drawdown and losing streaks? Now, this is something that is completely inevitable in trading. If you're a trader, you know very well that this cannot be avoided. That's the first thing I want to get into your mind. Losing streaks and drawdown are part and parcel of the business. There is no trader under the sun. There is no institution under the sun that does not go through losing streaks and drawdowns. These seasons will always happen. They come and they go. But what now happens, how you come out of it at the end of the day, is your attitude towards the whole thing. And of course, in this particular episode, while you hit the like button, share and subscribe, of course, I am going to walk you through exactly what you should do to actually come out of this type of situation. All right. So please take a moment, like, share and of course, subscribe. And then I'll come back and give you, of course, um, what you should do to come out of this. All right. So the very first thing I want you to know is that losing streaks and drawdowns cannot be eliminated. They are also within the distribution. However, when you go through a losing streak, there are two types of losing streaks you could go through. A losing streak or drawdown that is in the plan, in your trading plan, or a losing streak and drawdown that is completely coming from your own recklessness or out of nowhere. Now, for some reason, if you are backtesting your particular strategy or while you were backtesting, you would find out that at some point there were times when the strategy took multiple losses in a row. That same multiple losses you took in a row will actually happen in the live trading while you're trading that particular strategy live in the market. You cannot eliminate that, all right? And you then plan for these things. So if you have tested your data, your, of course, your strategy, with historical data, you find out that yes, there's a losing streak, there's probably a length of time that is bound to happen. Yes, that's very fine, that's completely normal. All you have to do is just keep trading the strategy and eventually you are going to come out of that. However, if the losing streak is coming from you trying to revenge trade, you trying to quickly uh, recover money you lost in the market, or you taking profits too early, or panicking out of trades, all these types of very unnecessary things and emotional reactions, if that is where it is coming from, then of course, uh, we obviously know that we have a lot more work to do uh, than you actually uh, admit, all right? So the first thing to do is if the losing streak is coming from your trading plan, that's one thing I want you to understand. If it's coming from your trading plan, then the ultimate thing you should do is to stick to the plan. And then while you're sticking to the plan and trading your same strategy, you should lower the risk. I always recommend if you use, I always recommend a 1% risk per trade I prefer to trade using 1% risk per trade, max 2%, 3%. I mean, I can't tell you how to trade depending on your risk appetite and of course your uh, trading capital as well. So it all boils down to you. But myself personally, I always recommend 1% risk per trade. So if you are using a 1% risk per trade system, if that is a system you're trading and somehow you manage to find yourself in a drawdown, the next thing you should do should be to scale down the risk. You want to take down the risk to at least half a percent or maybe something less, just depends but you know you should not be trading at full risk when you are in a drawdown. Your ultimate target should be to come out of the drawdown using the least possible risk so that you avoid uh, you know, going uh, further down the rabbit hole. That is the first thing and the most important thing you should do. So if you go through your system and you find out that yes, it's a normal thing, first thing you need to do, cut down uh, the risk and then trade and come back to break even. Now, one thing I want you to also recognize is that you need to have it at the back of your mind that yes, this drawdown is part of the system. And one thing I always found out is that when you go through a drawdown, when you go through a losing streak and you come out of that, it usually makes you a stronger trader. It makes you a better trader. It helps you to trust yourself more, to trust your system more. Because after I went through some you know, crazy drawdowns in my own personal trading as well, I found out that when I came out of that, I was a better trader. I had more confidence. I could actually now begin to execute more on the market. All right. So now that is actually another aspect. However, if your drawdown 
is a product of recklessness, is a product of revenge trading, a product of every wrong thing in the book, then I appeal to you to please get yourself a trading plan that you can stick to. And in fact, you should not be trading any sizable amount of large capital if you are not able to stick to your plan. You must be able to stick to the plan. You must avoid all forms of revenge trading. When you take a loss, one thing you need to tell yourself is, what is the maximum loss I am prepared to accept from the market within a 24 hour period, within a seven day period, within a five day trading period, depending on how, what you trade, whether it's crypto or Forex, what is the maximum risk I am willing to act, I am willing to take? And if you are not willing to take any risk beyond a set, beyond 3%, when that risk limit is hit, you must stop trading. Any attempt to cover the loss quickly, any attempt to get over it, you saw a setup, whatever, whatever, all those things, any attempt you do, anything you do outside of that, it is simply putting yourself in jeopardy. You will be digging deeper holes for yourself. So the most important thing you should do is that you should have a guide. You should have a particular guide that guides you. You should have a trading plan that guides you within the market. And then you must accept the reality that losing streaks are part of the business. Drawdowns are part of the business. It happens. And at the end of the day, it is completely up to you to manage your emotions in the moment, in each trade. And take it one trade at a time. When you are trading in a drawdown, you must not think about, oh, I am down 10%. And then you're looking at the big number you're trying to look at. Oh, I'm down $10,000 or $1,000 or whatever 10% is to you. I'm down X amount of numbers. And then you're looking at it in terms of dollar amount. You're looking at the dollar rate. What you should be looking at is each individual trade, one trade at a time. Aside looking at it one trade at a time, you must look at your losses as percentages and not as numbers. Well, what do I mean by that? If I am down 10%, I, think, I like to think about it as 10%. I don't like to think about it as, oh, it's $10,000, oh, it's $15,000, oh, it's $30,000. That is not how I look at 10% in my own book. That's not how I look at my trading. That's not how I look at drawdowns in my own book. How I look at it is, oh, I'm down 2%. I need to make back 2%. It doesn't matter what 2% is. It doesn't matter whether 2% is $10,000 or $100,000. It just does not matter. It is simply 2%. I am down 3%. I am up 2%. That is what matters. So, the ultimate thing is to look at these drawdown numbers or these drawdown percentages. You must look at them as percentages. You must look at them not as dollar amounts, not as Naira amounts, but you must look at them as percentages. One hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, and that is all it can ever be. So if you train your mind to look at all these numbers based on percentages, based on rates of return, seven hour, one hour, three hour, four hour, if you learn to look at it that way, I can assure you, you are going to panic less and you're going to make way more logical decisions when you are trading in the heat of the moment. And of course, one thing I'd like to tell you, we're currently having our four-part series or four-part webinar series where I'm breaking down the market. Of course, it's absolutely free. It's courtesy of Tickmill. You can see it over here. That is Tickmill, of course. I mean, it can't go into my head. My head is big right now. My head is big naturally, not to talk over there with the dreadlocks. So, um, it is a four-part series, all right? And with the four-part series, what that means is we've held one. We held one on the 21st of June. We have another one coming up 28th of June. We have another one 5th of July, 12th of July. Four-part series of massive value. And I can assure you, you're going to have a very good time. In the coming winners day, in the coming week, uh, that's um, this coming week. Uh, I mean, I'm, already, I'm filming this on a Saturday. So uh, this coming Wednesday on the 28th of June, what we're going to do is that we're going to have, we're also going to pump out the next webinar. And in this one, we're going to be teaching you how to trade live. The complete process that I go through to arrive at my trades. How I trade, how I look at the market, A to Z, nothing to hide. I don't have any secret formula somewhere, any this crosses, that crosses this. No, it is all 100% in front of you. That is what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be showing you the exact process to how I generate the trade ideas, how I analyze the market, and ultimately, how I execute and of course manage the trades, manage my emotions while I am in the heat of the moment. All right, so please make sure that you sign up wherever you find this video. You're gonna find a link to that webinar, of course. I want to see you there. I look forward to seeing you there. So I look forward to seeing you here again on YouTube and of course in our upcoming webinar come June 28, 2023. Until then, I wish you good luck and of course, good trading. Cheers.